What's up, guys? It's raining. It's pouring. Has been for the last four days. Oh well. Anyway, just come in here to bring you guys a video. I haven't made one since Monday, which is very unusual for me. Anyway, I was gonna talk about one thing, which is the title, but something happened to me today in not the NFL room, in Cowboys room. You see. I uh I just came in the room. Mr. Gil Gil greets me to uh Hey, Power Rangers. You kiss Redskin ass. And I was just like, No, I don't I don't kiss Redskin ass. I I relate to them. I don't kiss their ass. I kiss Eagles ass and Eagles ass only, because I bleed green. Is there any amount of green on a Redskins uniform? I don't think so. And then he sh and then he just said, "Hey, yeah, you do Power Rangers, you do." And I was just like, "No, Cowboy." I mean, uh, Homegrown Cowboy makes the comment, "Hey, Power Rangers, you know, all the defensive player upgrades we'll get in the offseason in the draft, Donovan McNabb will be running for his life." And then I said, "You know what? Cowboys can get as many offen defensive offensive upgrades, but." In the end, the Eagles will always have the last laugh and pwn their offense and defense. I didn't get a rebuttal from anyone because I got booted by Mr. Gill. I won that argument. Alright, anyway, to my main segment. I don't hate, I don't hate people. Also, Duke Fathers showed some class. I think that Mosh was joking, but he made a mistake. Some people take jokes the wrong way, but I think that his joke was out of line. No one should wish death on anybody. Only taxes. <laughs> and Fyclet, I was upset. That that video wasn't top of the line like I planned, like I thought it was gonna be. I waited two months for it. Oh well. So, main part of the video. Now, the segment is called NFL opinion. My NFL opinion. You can take it however you want it to take it. If you don't like it, comment. Don't watch it. Anyway, so Baltimore Ravens fans, how long have you guys been a fan base? Like 1995 or something, I believe, respectively. The Baltimore Ravens. Now, in the in the 80s, the late mid 80s, Mayflower. The owner of the of the Baltimore Colts signed uh, to sell the team to the city of Baltimore. Team moved in a Mayflower bus, I mean truck, in the middle of the night, and the fans never knew what hit them. Now, I will agree with you there. You know, this isn't about that, but you guys gotta learn to forgive and forget. Can you tell me one thing that you had? with the Baltimore Colts that I mean that you had with the Baltimore Ravens that you didn't have with the Baltimore Colts you have a team you have a team that loves the city you guys don't have to hate the Colts alright I don't know why you guys are so upset ten years of no football team I'm sorry but you have a team you have a team that has won a Super Bowl. You have a team with some of the best defensive players ever to enter the NFL. Ray Lewis, Ed Reed. Are you serious? Those two players are one of the best at their positions in a long time. There are more, but I can't think of them. You guys have a defensive player of the year in Ray Lewis. 
and a Super Bowl MVP. A Super Bowl. The Eagles have been around for 75 years and they haven't won a Super Bowl. Come on. But you guys still pout about we could have had the Baltimore Colts. The Baltimore Colts won a Super Bowl and lost the Super Bowl. And the Super Bowl they won wasn't really that in interesting. It was like a defensive show. And you guys were known for the great quarterbacks, the Johnny Unitas, the Earl Moros. I mean, you won the game off the leg of your kicker. And at that time, in that time period, that was a hard thing to do because the kicking position was underrated and I mean, no one was really good at kicking at that time. Now, you know, I mean, every time I see the Baltimore Ravens play the Indianapolis Colts, there's always media attention. Like, oh, yeah, 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 we hate the Colts. We hate the Colts because they took our team. We hate Indianapolis. They took our team. They didn't take your team. You have to, you have to argue with the owner that took them away from you guys. I don't know what the heck his name was, but he's faulted, not the Indianapolis Colts. So I mean, you guys shouldn't feel depressed at all. You guys have a Super Bowl. Your players have hoisted a Lombardi Trophy. You, as fans, have glittered in the success of finally winning one. The promised land. I haven't. I've seen a Super Bowl loss. I've seen multiple NFC Championship losses. My team is known to choke in the playoffs. In all the Ravens seasons, they've only had like two or three losing seasons out of like 15. That's pretty good. The Colts really didn't have anything in the 80s. They really didn't have much in the 70s. In the 90s really weren't that good. I mean... I know there was hardships that day. I know men cried that day. But you guys got to learn to live, forgive, and forget. Now, this is my opinion. You guys can take it however you want. I want you to comment. Tell me if you liked it, if you hated it. I can take the shit. I got flag booted today. And the mystery of the flag boot is over. Eagles rule. Everyone else.